Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of uh, February 4th. This week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But, uh, Leo, let's see what we have going on for you this week. It's been a pretty good week so far, so uh, let's see if that continues. And let's keep going here. Uh, all right. Uh, so you start off with the Queen of Hearts and the King of Hearts. Yeah, uh, I think somebody else had this exact combination, uh, which is weird. I've never had this happen twice. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, this represents a perfect relationship. So some of you could be getting it. You could be in a perfect relationship right now, or it could say that you are like kind of meeting your soulmate or will be meeting your soulmate soon. Uh, again, I, I don't attach sex to my card. So, you know, it doesn't matter if you're interested in the same sex, aliens, whatever you're into, doesn't matter. Uh, this just says, you know, two people meeting together who are really interested in each other. Uh, for others, this just represents a very positive change in direction. Uh, this is a change in direction, and this is a return. So it could represent like either love returning to your life, not somebody from the past, but just like having love in general returning to your life. Or it could represent like you know more positive emotions. It could also represent like money. So again, if you've been waiting for money or money hasn't been coming in, it could represent again a change in direction, saying that there will be money coming in for you soon. Uh, next, you have the Six of Spades. This is the Tower. Yeah, some of you could have a, had a breakup. This card is called the Tower in the Lenormand card reading system. It's not like, um, you know, it's not as bad as the Tower in the uh, Tarot deck, but it definitely could represent a surprise. It could represent some sort of surprise challenge or, um, you know, it could also represent a breakup. So love right here. Some of you, or where am I? Right here. So some of you could have gone through a breakup or gone through some sort of challenge. And, um, you know, again, maybe you are trying to work your way through it. It's a card of letting go. So I do feel like it would be time. Again, if you're thinking about an ex or something, I would say let them go at this time and move on to the new. This is like the card of, you know, in with the new, out with the old type of thing here. So. I feel like that's what's happening here. I also feel like if anything has left your life, like a job, um, a business, or a, you know, a client, or anything, I, I feel like it was making space. Again, this is like a card. Um, you know, even in the Lenormand card reading system, if you read about this card, you know, it's a card that just says uh, that something had to leave to make space for something newer and just much better. So uh, definitely could represent a positive change. Some of you could also be going through a divorce here with these cards but if anything had to leave not even a relationship anything else it just says it was making space for something new uh, next you show up here and improvements look so yeah this is you making improvements so i feel like you are making new improvements towards success this is a card of success and growth and it just says you will be successful at this time this is a card of like step-by-step -step improvements it's a card of incremental improvements. So it does say that there might not be any huge jumps forward in success, but there will be like step by step, very steady improvements happening it for you in your life. This is also a card of like stepping up to the plate and taking the initiative. I, I feel like it's just saying you, that is the energy that Leo is going to be embracing now is like, I feel like you want to be the leader. I feel like you want to step up to the plate and make things happen in pretty much any area of your life. I feel like that energy is coming in for you as well. So like I said, I feel like it's just an energy that is around you. Uh, next, you have the two of spades in the ACRT. Yeah, so definitely some of you could have gone through a breakup here um, or a separation or a divorce. For others, this could be just new love coming in after you've been single for a long period of time. This could also represent a health change. Uh, this could just say that maybe some of you had surgery or you will be having surgery or uh, it could also just represent pretty much anything. Diet change, exercise change, um, you know, maybe you change your sleep patterns, anything uh, regarding health. And this card here says that it will improve your health. There will be health improvements because of a change. If you want health improvements, again, this just says make a change in some way because there will be major improvements with this Ace of Hearts. Uh, next, you have the Four of Diamonds and the Queen of Diamonds. Yeah, some of you could have an Earth sign uh, coming into your life for love. Uh, for others, this could just represent new opportunities and work. Uh, this is new work, new business more money and stability and security in your finances and this just represents a new path it says a new path is opening for you to make more money and you but you just have to step off on that path this card is called the crossroads and it just says you have a choice to make so i would say pick the new path leo i feel like i i feel like i always say that to you you always get this card so i feel like there is a choice but i feel like it could lead to a lot of like a lot of success it's also the card of being touched by money so it says Whatever you are doing, uh, you know, if you're starting a business or getting a new job, 
could literally you know turn into gold so i would say get started finally you have the three of diamonds this card just says pay attention to paperwork this this has come up for a few signs at least three signs i think so this card just says pay attention to your paperwork it says double check any contracts you're signing double check any paperwork you are submitting if you're taking a test double double check your answers you know it's not a bad card it's not a good card either. It just kind of represents problems with paperwork. So just make sure to double check. Same thing with this uh, Jack of Spades as well. This could represent being absent-minded or forgetting to write something down. So I would just double check all contracts, paperwork, and everything like that. It might not even be you. You know, it could be that the person who is giving you the contract forgot to include something in it. So again, this might be somebody else that is making a mistake. So just double check everything you're doing. This can be great as well. You know, this is like one of those things where, you know, maybe you get a ticket <laughs> from the police and maybe, um, you know, they put down some wrong information on your ticket that makes it invalid. So again, double check every piece of paper that you get because there might be a positive mistake as well. Uh, but uh, Leo looks really good this week. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.